So we did a thing. <coughs> Cheers to feeling better this morning. Yes, please. Please. It's really better. It's going to get hot today. Is it? If you remember the previous video where we began breaking ground, you may have noticed a truck that doesn't belong to us parked in the background. This was the power department coming to get our meter hooked up. We have power! What is this, 110 volt? Yeah. Yay! We can charge two pieces of equipment at a time. Hear that? Yeah. The pump's on. Yeah, let's see, let's see, let's see. Not only is this great so we don't just have to rely on power banks to charge our gadgets, but we are able to utilize the irrigation system now. Ooh, it's starting to rain right now. I know. It's not red like it was the last time. I know, because it's pumping straight out of the ground. Yeah. So, now that we're able to turn the pump on and get water to other areas of the property, we now have to head into town to get supplies at the local hardware store so that we can set up a spigot. Of course, a run into town usually means stopping at a restaurant and eating at a table, like the civilized human beings we like to pretend we are sometimes. $3 an hour, but I'm going to give it to you for half of that. <laughs> Gentlemen and a scholar. There yeah. we go. <laughs> See you next time. Anything else? No, that's great. Thank right, you so thank much. You. Thank you. Well, he was kind enough to take this off so that we could put this on and then hose, spigot, water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At some point. Maybe. All right, we now have what we think we need. So it's back to the homestead to see if we can successfully set up this bigot. Shall return. How far is it? It's coming from the pump. Yeah. Got it. So it has quite a few hundred feet to travel before it gets here. Uh, more like a thousand. Well, you know, that's more than 300 feet is what I meant, mm -hmm. so. Wah, wah. I hear it. I think. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Sounded like gurgling. Yeah! 
We did a thing. You did a thing. I did nothing. Bring water into the wind. I gotta, I gotta up the pressure. It has a lot of air in the system. It's up to 60 PSI. So we just have to be patient. Ah, yeah. you got more. Yeah. So the reason it was so important to get this set up right now is now the next part, all of this needs to be perfectly leveled specifically for the structure we're gonna put on it. So to do that properly, we need to actually wet the earth quite a bit. That way we can just make sure that everything is as packed as possible. So that's why this was so important for this. And I can add now we can actually turn on sprinklers for the rest of the meadow area and hopefully get a little bit of green in here. Uh, that way it's not so dry. So again, wish us luck. Each time we come here, we are so amazed by how kind and helpful the overall community is, especially all of our nearest neighbors. One of them happens to do excavation work and was so incredibly helpful that he not only gave us pointers, but even let us borrow some of his equipment that would otherwise have cost us quite a pretty penny to rent, let alone buy. We're finding ourselves at the beginning stages of learning what the scope of this project is about to entail. With no internet service, most of the research and coordinating is getting accomplished by picking up the phone and having a good old real conversation. Oh, the hell? I'm slinging dirt and burning diesel. I don't know what I'm doing. He's like, hey, that's my, that's my life. It's funny how like, our our mistakes are turning into our greatest like achievements <laughs> what are you talking about we planned this this worked out perfectly but that's pretty fun like the fact that we were able to get it within a foot of the town a lot of work see you did an excellent job maneuvering those joysticks in there. I know. It's all that Tetris. The video game, video game arcade, man. It's like da 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 Cool. All right, let's turn this off. That's cool. It worked out. So we did a thing. Um, 45 by 80 square per rectangle pad. It's quite a bit larger than the structure we're going to put on here, but we thought since we're putting in the hard work, we might as well get it all situated. That way we don't have to come back and finagle with it later on. This is just exactly. going to be sound and ready for whatever future development we do outside of the initial smaller structure that we're going to put yeah. on here. This is pretty much enough space for a 3,200 square foot building if we decide to go that route. That sounds like way too big. I don't want to clean a place that large. That's why I like small. Yeah, we're getting small. We're getting, getting small. really small. <laughs> <laughs> But um, yeah, next thing is gravel. Yes. 
and that might be coming. leveling and well yes a little bit more leveling, leveling and gravel and uh, cutting a driveway and then that's it well then everything else that comes with it you have plumbing you have electrical you have building but that all comes later right now it's yeah. this was the focus of the project getting this cut out leveled and laying down gravel yeah five inches of three quarter inch clean gravel so we shall see I don't know how I did that because my hammies are barely know, working right now. I'm like, oh, that hurt, that hurt, that hurt. <laughs> All those deadlifts. All those rocks. That's a lot of rock. A lot of rock. How, how many deadlifts do you think that is? That was at least, <laughs> at least five. I put it at about five. 500 deadlifts in a day. Yeah. <laughs> my hammies, my glutes, my calves. My neck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Thank you once again for joining us in this part of the journey. If you would like to get updates and notifications on future videos that we do post, please don't forget to subscribe and also like this video. Thanks again. See you soon.